James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 30th, 2022, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. Our son has produced three M flares today alone. So we were looking at a long-term geomagnetic storm, and that storm might lengthen. Here on GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, you can see one of the last blasts right there. Uh, one of the M flares was considerable. All of the M flares have been generated by a new sunspot, AR3112, that is coming around the limb as we speak. It is now visible. You can see the explosions happen. They actually killed the feed prior to the largest explosion, an M. 2.99 solar flare right there. So that has just occurred. What y'all just saw on goes was this M flare here. Another sizable M1.34. That's the saying that these explosions were much larger than we see here because most of the sunspot at this time was actually around the limb. They're saying it is completely visible now and semi-earth facing. This was the first of the three M flares. And this came in, let's see. Well, it was an M of 1.2, just 1.06. Definitely an M flare, but the first of the three all generated from new sunspot AR3112. Heading over to SDO, NASA has released the following information. A large and active sunspot group is about to rotate over the sun's northeastern limb. It's not even here yet, and it's already unleashed an M2.9 class solar flare. The explosion happened on September 30th at 1622 UTC time but it was partially eclipsed by the edge of the sun. The unobstructed flare was probably much stronger than reported. Now, this sunspot has rotated and is visible at this time, guys. This was earlier in the day. It continues, Helioseismologists have been tracking this sunspot group for more than a week. It is so large, it is altering the way the whole sun vibrates and creating a dark echo in acoustic maps of the far side of the sun. So this is the sunspot that I talked to you guys about. It was actually changing the way the entire sun vibrates. And here is our breakdown by 3 p.m. today. We're supposed to be in a geomagnetic storm, so about an hour from now. And from there on, we're facing geomagnetic storms for, well, about 48 hours or just under 48 hours or over 48 hours, if you include the geomagnetic disturbances that occur here on the 2nd. And there's no telling if this actually goes into the 3rd as well, because we don't have those forecasts from NOAA. And please remember, they claim that a CME exploded and will actually strike Earth, and that happened on the 28th, but nothing showed up on GOES. And they're also contributing some of this to the small coronal hole that was Earth-facing. They're calling it a one-two punch, but the problem is that one never showed up on GOES or the X-ray absorption charts. All right, over to D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. These are the X-rays bombarding the planet. You know that we're running a constant C flare here. And we're going to be able to see what I believe to be all three M flares. So here we go. 
again. Here is the first impact right there, followed by the larger solar flare that did in fact send heavy x-rays to planet Earth right about here. Let's get ready, rumble. Whoa, very strong. Lots of nation was off the hook. And then the third inflare that also struck the Earth with x-rays. Of course, they're telling us that none of these flares had Earth components associated with them. And my question is always would be, well, why did the x-rays hit the Earth? And why did the electrons hit the GOES satellite in a highly detectable level? Whereas your CME that you claim occurred on the 28th did not show up on GOES or the D region absorption prediction center. Strange days we live in. Now, although I believe all the flares that are inbound for the next several days did show up here on SDO, we see them all coming from 3110 here surrounded by the coronal hole, and they continue to pop. Well, you also see that 3112 is the one that shot out the three M flares. And it will be Earth-facing, and actually is, or we wouldn't have seen these blasts show up on our ghost satellite. Look at that snake up there. But this sunspot right here, obviously, uh, was responsible for several solar flares and coronal mass ejections that for whatever reason went unreported on GOES and unreported altogether. And now NOAA has reported their impact starting today, all day tomorrow, and all of the following day. As you can see how active that sunspot was as it was earth facing absolutely incredible well, why didn't any of that show up on goes unless it was intentionally hidden again i believe the camera moved when the electrons hit it from that large flare and then i want y'all to concentrate on 3112 it's already been named and it is extremely active one of the largest sunspots ever reported on the sun again making the sun vibrate in a whole new manner. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.